Hello and welcome back to Pentiment. If you want a recap of the story so far, don't worry, it's very simple. What we have done so far is we have walked to work, uh, we've done work for the morning, uh, we picked up some books and now it's lunchtime. I know, seems like a very complicated game. Um, what we need to do at lunchtime, apparently, is go and have lunch with Otto and Endris. So, I've forgotten who Otto and Endris are, so we're going to go and have a look after reading about Sister Illuminata of Perugia. Now, she was the librarian who we helped uh, with the books last time. Librarian and future prioress of Curacao Abbey. That was what I was saying. Sister Illuminata is responsible for the contents of Curacao's library, and she oversees the work of Sister Zed... Uh, Zedena, who will one day take her place, yes. And, as we learned, every um, previous prioress was once the librarian, which means that Zedna is, or Zedena is effectively being placed to be, like, the future, future prioress, in theory. Illuminata is known for her great intelligence and expansive education. Cool. Uh, let's find out about uh, Brother Guy. Brother Guy of Dijon. A Burgundian scribe, Brother Guy is respected for his swift hand, but generally disliked for his mean spirit and two-faced, sycophantic behaviour. Father Gurnot entrusts Guy with writing the Abbey's most important documents. Okay, so he's uh, respected for being good at his job, people don't like him, and he's in with the father. Got him. And then we have, nobody new on this page, but we have uh, Rudegar uh, of Bad Tolls here. Cantor for the monks of Curacao Abbey, known for his fine singing voice. Cool. So Otto Zimmerman, uh, Otto Zimmerman, the town carpenter. Okay, is the person that we're looking to meet up with, along with uh, Endis, who is the town blacksmith. Okay, cool. Uh, let's skip forward again, just checking there's no one on the last page. Nope. Right, glossary. What do we still need to learn? Wretched uh, Worian. An Italian chivalric romance written by Andrea da Barberino in the early 15th century. The titular character rises from impoverished origins to go on heroic adventures and discover his noble parentage. Originally published as a manuscript, it enjoyed greater success as a printed book. Okay, cool. So that was one of the books we read last time. Uh, sext. A monastic hour corresponding to noon, one of the little hours of prayer, followed by dinner. Okay. Mainz. Located on the Rhine River, Mainz is the home of the Archbishop of Mainz. I'm, I'm absolutely shocked. An elector of the Holy Roman Empire and Primas Germani, the Pope's substitute soar, uh, north of the Alps. Lugano. A highly contested Swiss market town located in the southwestern Alps. Um, the Dukes of Como and Milan fought for control over it until it was claimed by the Swiss Confederation in 1513. Fulda. Town built around old Benedictine uh, Ab uh, around an old Benedictine Abbey near the centre of the Empire. Fulda's abbots are imperial princes and wield great power. Ooh, okay. Let's go forward. So we have the Prince Bishop of Freising. Religious and secular ruler of Tatar territories in the Holy Roman Empire, including lands containing Tassing and Curacao Abbey. Okay, seems important. Just double check there's nothing on that page. We've already been there. We're going back to the first page. And we have um, Divine Reading. Lectio Divina is the thoughtful uh, reading of and meditation on scripture. The practice leads to prayer and contemplation. It is a daily part of life in Benedictine communion, uh, communities. Okay. Followed by Cologne. Large, powerful, free sit imperial city on the River Rhine. It is a major hub for commerce between Italy and the Netherlands. It is also a popular site for pilgrims, as its cathedral contains relics of the three wise men, represented as crowns on their arms. And then the Chronica Clara. The Clear Chronicle, a history of the universe from creation to 1082, written by the Irish monk uh, Maranius Scotus. I can't help but feel that it's not going to be very accurate outside of, say, from 1000 to uh, 1082. I feel like outside of those times, it, the information is probably not going to be true. But hey, what do I know? 
Uh, right, so we've done that. Well, we have some other things to investigate here. We saw that uh, the brother was right, or the father, um, someone was writing in this book. Th there's many people in this game. I will get to uh, the main ones soon. It was Father Ferenic. Yes. He was writing in the book, and we found in his house a cipher, which he had out when he was writing in the book. Hmm, I wonder what Prior, ah, Prior uh, Ferenic was doing with this book. Okay. From the Library of the University of Five Churches, the Hungarians call it Pex. Hmm, that's where Ferenic is from. Doctor of Theology, Georg, or, yeah, Georg of Gran. A friend of his? Okay. I don't know any of this. Maybe it's the red uh, letters? Okay. Um, clicking on everything gives me nothing. I can't leave. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just needed to click on the right bit. A text on astronomy, it looks like. I'm not familiar with it. Hmm. A bastard script, Burgundian? Flemish? Not from here and not recently. It's definitely uh, Ferenic's handwriting between the lines and in the margins. Hmm. Is he notating the text for the benefit of future readers? In any case, it's a thorough commentary. Or thorough commentary. What's this? It looks uh, scribbled. Not like Ferenic to be so sloppy. He didn't even blot the ink dry. Libra, Capricorn, Aries, all astrological symbols. What's written below? Ah, because we know about uh, Greek. We're going to say Greek to be sure. Odbekko exu? That doesn't make any sense. That's not even a word. It's just a jumble of letters. This must be some kind of cipher. What's the key? Wait, the Vavol I found also has Greek letters on it. They must be connected, but how? The outer ring of the Vovelli is marked with alchemical symbols, but this cipher has astrological symbols. There's something I'm missing. I'm supposed to figure it out. I suppose I'll figure it out in due time. I'll copy this down now to reference later. Cool, so if we can find the link that gives us this... If we can find the key that allows us to link an astrological symbol to an alchemical symbol, that will then allow us to read the message. Cool. Okay, so I'm guessing this is meant to be like the first real puzzle of the game. And it's meant to be kind of a simple, hey, maybe if you investigate some more, you can find out some more stuff. Is the prior home? He isn't. Perfect. I want to have a look at this. I still don't know how to connect the elemental symbols on the Vovelli with the astrological symbols on the cipher. Until I figure out the connection, I can't decipher the note in Ferenic's book. Hmm. That would be interesting. I found a secret passage in the crypt. There has to be a book in the library I could use to figure this out. Sister Illuminata is in there most of the day. Perhaps I can find a way in after dark. And if all else fails, perhaps I could ask Werner Stolz. He lives off the North Commons. I have a sense he doesn't like me much, but I'll find a way to get the information out of him. So we can either talk to him or we can potentially... Go to the crypt. Okay. So, we don't even know what we're looking for there. All we know is that there is a secret. Somewhere. <laughs> but we don't know what it is. Or why we would want to know it. Alright, so our objective's over here. Um, I, oh, we got more on people? Uh, this must be the person who doesn't like us. Yes. Dr. Werner Stolz. Town physician of Tassing. Graduate of the Albert Ludwig L University in Freiburg. Originally from Lower Silesia. Known for his unpleasant manner. I was going to say, why does he dislike us? But he like dislikes us because he's unpleasant. Uh, well, yeah, because he's unpleasant. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's now empty. Cool. Well, let's leave. Uh, we'll just go this way. Um, this seems fine. Through here. And then along this way. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. I wonder whether it's worth... I don't think it is, but I wonder whether it's worth like re-going through everything again. And, like, checking for other people. You know what we can do? We can go to the church. This is a fairly common place to go, right? See if anyone's in the church. If anyone's in the church that's worth talking to, then we can, um, 
yeah, we can see if they have something new to say. If they don't, then we, we never come back here and do this. Monstrance, Chalice, Patan, Ciborum, and uh, Purificator. Purificator. I need to read that again. I, I really did not get there quick enough. Oh, it's gone forever? Really? <laughs> oh. If I do this, can I see it? No? Alright, well, this one. Probably where the funds of the Abbey are stored. The Sacricity is also the treasury. So I guess if you didn't get the money, you could just steal it now. The armoires hold all of the vestments brother, uh, Father Gurnot and Brother Matthew used during Mass. Alright, well, we'll never know what this one was. Something about purifying something. Obviously not relevant. <laughs> uh, let me just check in here. Yeah, nothing in our glossary, so that's fine. Um... We've been everywhere else. Yeah, let's uh, head out here and see if we can meet up with the people in town. Right, Lower Abbey. Which we haven't really been to before, actually. This is a new area. Hello, Martin. Go away, Andreas. Can't you say I'm busy? Um, not really. What are you doing? Mind your own business. Um... I'm only curious, and curiosity is a virtue. You're nothing but a snooping windbag. Piss off. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Alright. Well, good that we're making friends. Ah, there's Otto. I'm going to go into the guest house first, though. Nothing going on. Okay. Well, hello, Mikolaus. God be with you, Andreas. Alright, see you later, Mikolaus. I'll ignore these two for just now. I'm assuming that we don't have to do anything right now. Can I go back into town? Because if I assume if they're in the main quest, I can just, like, go wherever I like right now, right? Yeah. Um. Let's leave. I'm off exploring. The figures in the shrine to St. Christopher are quite nice. Oh, who is he? One of the 14 holy helpers, St. Christopher is invoked as protection against the plague and um, uh, to safeguard travellers. He is often pictured as a large man with a staff carrying the child Jesus on his back across a swollen river. Okay, cool. Forest. So this is where we saw the lady come from previously. Hmm. Okay. I suppose we could head down here. Yeah, why not? Although we didn't explore the meadow, now that I think about it. Yeah, let's make sure we explore it. Irises, beautiful. Snowdrops, one of the only flowers that can bloom this early in spring at this altitude. Got the mill over there. A shrine to St. Moritz. The statue looks ancient. Ah, Columbine. It looks like it's coming in early. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go that way. Okay, so we've already, now we've explored everywhere here. There really wasn't a ton extra. To the forest. Waterfall. Shrine of St. Satya. This way. Smokey's home. Most of this felling is for the Abbey's uh, reno uh, renovations and firewood. The town can only gather sticks. And then we've got that over there. Uh, let's go see Smokey. I don't know who Smokey is. Hi, Smokey. Oh, Master Maller. Yes? We met once before, I think. You were drawing something by the, uh, the waterfall. I'm Smokey. Well, Adam, but people call me Smokey. Um, yes, I remember. Ah, good. So, is there anything I can do for you? No, just being friendly. Oh, of course. Uh, good to see you. Until next time, Master Maller. Until then. So he's just referencing the fact it's kind of weird that we're just visiting. Uh, Vexlav. Oh, uh, hello. Hello, you're not a local, are you? Um, no. I'm staying in Tassing only briefly. Um, why stay out here in the forest? People don't uh, much like the Romani. Most folk despise anything that's different. I like staying on the edge of town. 
Um, I search to find whatever is different. It's the differences in an artist's style that make their work unique. Ah, you're the artist staying up in Curacao. Yes, just visiting Tassing for some time. My name is Andreas, Andreas Maller. It's nice to meet you. Most folks in Tassing don't come down here to talk. All right, I'm Vaxlav, a traveling tinker. I travel from place to place, sharpening knives, mend small things that need mending, that sort of thing. Um, what brought you to Tassing, Vaxlav? Well, I, um, actually came to visit Curacao's library. I had hoped for one of the monks to read them to me, but the abbot wouldn't let me in. Um... Well, let's, let's just tell them. No one's allowed inside the library except the sisters. I'm not surprised they turned you away. Ah. What were you looking for? Well, uh, um, well, I explained that I was looking for a text about the elements. If, if they're primordial, as Aristotle says, then God didn't create them. They exist with him since the dawn of time. Him? Um... Okay. That's a fascinating idea. Not only that, but it explains the presence of the angels and demons before the creation of the world. Of the five elements, angels are fire and air, and the demons were water and earth, and the world was aether before the Lord formed it. That's why Satan appeared as a snake to Eve. Snakes can only dwell in deep caves and pools. Hmm. Um, I never considered it that way before. You might be onto something. I did not expect such open dialogue with you, Master Maller. Few men with your stature would entertain such ideas with someone like me. Hmm. Uh, anyway, I should get back to work. Until later, Vaxlav. I think we're going to be kind of, you know, questioning of everything, including a church. So, yeah. We'll, we'll question it with him. We wouldn't question it with the father, but you would question it with him. Let's go to the shrine. Ooh. A carving of Saint Satya. It looks quite old. Okay. Well, that was fun. I'm guessing there's something here later. I like to get acquainted with the place, though. Uh, let's go have a look at the waterfall. Rotten and full of bugs. No wonder Otto hasn't split it up. The waterfall must flow down from the snowmelt in the mountains above the abbey. Old salt mine. Of course. Why not? Tassing's old salt mine. How the town made money before the Imperial Road opened up. Okay, so we've been everywhere here. I'm curious, is there a way of moving... No, you can just flip between the pages. All I was wondering is whether there was potentially a way of moving around the map from here. A couple of games that have a similar style to this have that, where it's like... You can just jump between uh, map, known map locations if there's no reason to, like, stop you. This game, not so much, but that's okay. Uh, we'll just need to know the way around. Right, doesn't take very long. Mill. Um, Roman? Oh, no, that's a new place. Hello, Lenhart. Good morning. You're the Gertner's boarder, aren't you? How could you tell? Yeah, uh, you look like a man who understands the power of appearances. Quite unlike the Gertners. Hmm. They're farmers. You expect them to act like kings? A uh, little dignity wouldn't hurt them. They bleat like sheep when times get hard. Only Eva's got a backbone. How is she, by the way? Um, she's fine. Why? I'm only curious. She used to bring their barley to me, but Peter insists on delivering it now. A shame. She'd shown me some curiosity about the mill. I'd hope to foster that. It's a handsome mill. She's the only windmill in Bavaria, did you know? Constructed in exacting detail from Dutch spe specifications. The gem of the Alps, and none of the incurious dolts here can appreciate it. 
Except you. I expect they have uh, more urgent matters on their minds. I should be going until later. Until then, Maller. Really? That's the end of our conversation? Andreas? What a curious mill. The wind turns the sails and that powers the grinding stone. Hello, Paul. Um, hello. Paul, right? I don't think we've talked before. I'm Andreas. I'm staying with the Gertners. Oh, but you're not a farmer. Why are you living with the farmers? They're letting me board with them while I work in the Abbey Scriptorium. You're a monk? I'm an artist. Oh, like you do drawings? Drawings, painting, calligraphy? If it goes in a book, I put it in there. Or I put it there. Oh, is that how you get money? What? The Abbey pays me, of course. Art is a job. Just like being a miller is a job. But it's also a calling. I didn't. My dad says... My dad says drawing's stupid. It's not worth anything. Do you like to draw, Paul? Yes. More than anything. But I have to do it where my dad can't see. He gets mad. Well, my dad doesn't like some of the things I do, either. That's why I don't tell him. Can I tell you a secret? Nothing on this earth would please me more, young Master Muller. Sometimes I draw on the ruins in the meadow where the dad can't see. Um, what do you draw? Cats. Mom, I don't know, stuff. Um... I probably shouldn't be talking to you. Dad won't like it. You're probably right. I'll go. Until later, Paul. And hey, keep drawing, alright? I will. Bye. Interesting. Okay. So, we've learned that he likes to go drawing in the ruins. And it seemed like he was making a big point of it. I wonder how that's going to be um, relevant. Hello, Stop. How are you doing? Very nice, very nice. Hello there. Else? Elsie? Maybe? Anyway. Good morning, uh... Forgive me, I've forgotten your name. I'm wounded! Call me Andreas. Um... I hope I may call you Elsie. No. I mean... No, please. Not where my husband can hear. Um, what's the matter with him? The jealous type? He does not like many things. Hmm. Um. He ought to lighten up. Everyone deserves to live a little. Not everyone. I, uh. I heard Clara and Eva had an artist boarding with them. That must be very exciting. For them, or for me? Andreas! Oh, I only meant living on a farm among the Times people. Isn't it very lively? Um. Let's see. Let, let's go for a joke. Only when ill Peter wakes in the night and can't find the chamber pot. Ursula brings some joy to the household, though. Such a lovely little girl. I talked to your son, Paul. He seems like a good kid. Paul is darling, but so shy. I pray the Lord may someday bless us with a daughter. Elsie. Have you finished with your gabble? There's work that needs doing. Oh no. I'm sorry, I have to get to my labours. Of course, I apologize if I bothered you. Until later, Mistress Mullerin. Until then. What a tense household. Glass windows, they must have cost a fortune. Ah, they're rich. Can't be having that. Can't be having that. Right. So where are we? So that was outer tassing. 
So we've been to everywhere except for Franz Bauer and Widow Kemperton, but they're actually on this path out here. Okay, let's speak to Thomas. God be with you, Andreas. It takes us back to the meadow. It takes us back to the forest. Okay, so those are all interconnected now. Uh, Franz Bauer and Widow, Widow Kemperton? Sure, let's go have a chat. The house is locked. Cat. Hello. Brigitte. Good day, Andreas. Franz. Andreas. Oh. Okay. Well, we've now met them. We can head down here and... Hmm. These wood carvings are quite curious. Otila. Otilia's home. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe we can find out something. You want something? Yeah, I want to know why you hate the, uh, uh... Why you hate the Baron, but apparently... That information is for a later date. Okay. Let's leave here. We've not got much of town left before we go and have lunch. <laughs> Back to the farms. So this is where we started, I think. No, this is a different farm. This is the farm next door. This is John... Uh, this is Johann Bauer's farm. Hello, Andreas. Hey, Andreas. Hello, uh, Johan. Hey there, Andreas. Hans. Hi, Andreas. How's it going, Hans? Keeping busy in the fields? I guess. Do you like it? What? Farming. I never really thought about it. Dad says it has to get done whether I like it or not. What do you think about, then? Hmm. Uncle Franz said... Brigitte might come help with the laundry today. She's Martin's wife, right? She seems nice. She is. Nicer than Veronica, anyway. I wish Brigitte lived here instead of her. Well, you have a good time thinking about your cousin's wife. What? Until later, Hans. Uh, bye. Okay. Weird conversations with children. Johan's family keeps beehives for the honey and wax. Cool. The Gertner farm. So this is where we started. Got anything new, old Peter? God bless you. Peter? Andreas? Oh yes, I have uh, the... Uh, I have the rent. Let's go pay it. Hey, Clara. Hello, Andreas. Hello, Clara. I have something for you. Oh? This should be enough to pay my rent, and the tax you owe the Abbey. Andreas, this is far more than your rent payment. We can't accept this. Hmm. Um. Please, Clara, it's the least I can do. You and Peter have been such gracious hosts. But Andreas, how did you even find so much coin? Are you sure you'll have enough to spare for yourself? Um, I convinced Brother Matthew to pay me a bit early. I wanted to be sure you could pay your taxes in time. God bless you a thousand times, Andreas. You don't know what this means to us. Um, I'm happy to help, Clara. It's the Christian thing to do. You're a good man, Andreas. Thank you. I'll let you move on with your day. God bless you. Until later. We have completed the quest. Hey, Eva. Hey, Ursula. Uh, let's go upstairs. Just check that there's nothing new in our room. No, I think this is all stuff that we've uh, looked at before. We're not going to go to bed. It's far too early to go to bed. Great. Well, now that we paid our rent, it's time to leave the farm. And head back into town. Right, so we know where the blacksmith is. He's off uh, waiting for us. Andreas is in, or Endra Smith Smithy. It's much smaller than the one he uses at the Abbey. We can then head into Central Town here. Oh, so the Alban Bakery. That guy looks incredibly unhappy. Uh, we know about the Albans, don't we? That, that's the guy who I previously said that he, he looks very unhappy. Hey, we've done it. Cool. People. Um, no, we'll get back to this in a bit. We'll just speak to him. Hey. 
God bless you, Andreas. Hello, small child. Hi. Hello, Gret. Andreas, such a pleasure to see you and looking so handsome as always. Back for more of my rye. Dear Gret, you know I can't stay away from your rye. Andreas, heh <laughs> I was passing by and thought I should say hello. Now I must say goodbye. Aren't you a good man? Well, you're always welcome here, Andreas. And always welcome to my rye. Be well. Until later, Gret. Okay. I'll be seeing you. I did, apparently just came in to flirt with your wife. Hope you don't mind. Right. The Steinauer house. Hello, Lucky. Hello, Andreas. Anything else in here? Agnes? Hello, Andreas. Don't mind me, just here to prance about. And then I'm gonna leave. Right. Cat. Schlau. Hello. Very good. Very good. So, we've been there. Uh, so let me just check. So this brings us back to the father's ha uh, place, right? Yeah. Okay. And let's shut. I'm going to head back to the town commons for a second. Ooh. This is actually a different area. Cool. Old Otto. Good to see you, Andreas. So that's over to their house. The Zimmerman house. Hello, everybody. How's everyone in this house doing? Ah, there is nobody in this house. Well, time to leave. What else have we got? So we've been around here. We're going to circle back around this way. I know we've already done this, but we're going to circle back around and we're going to go to North Town. Um, right. More ruins. I wonder if they're from the old uh, Roman col uh, colony. Okay, so this guy, we have a journal thing for him. Um, it's not this one. I guess maybe it's not in our journal, but we were to ask him whether we could get something. From the church. Yes, uh, it was for translation. Yes, we'll, we'll think about speaking to him in a second. Tassing is lucky to have much woundwort naturally growing. I had to buy it back in Nuremberg. Okay, hello, Werner. Hello, you're the, uh... Artist from Nuremberg. Andreas Mahler, journeyman artist, at your service. Ah, that was it, Mahler. Someone mentioned you dabbled at university for a year or two. Funny. You're staying with the Gertners, yes? The Abbey does have a guest house, you know. Um, the Gertners are good and gracious people. For farmers? Tassing is full of miserable people like them. Um, what are you doing here then? Um, everyone's been kind enough to me, I think is what we'll say. You haven't done anything to cross them yet, but if, if you do, well, you'll see what I mean. They expect me to perform miracles, but I'm not a saint. The rest of the townsfolk, well, there can't be more than a handful of them who know how to spell their own names. Father Gurnot is too soft with them, but I suppose he has to keep them placated or risk riots on his land. Fortunately, I do not intend to stay in Tassing long. Ooh, where are you planning to go instead? Innsbruck might be worth my time. I recommend you don't linger here either, Maller. Or you'll find yourself trapped in a marriage to a mouse-faced girl with dirt under her nails. Who said anything about marriage? Well, I can't begrudge you your fun, but don't come pestering me if you catch the French disease. In any case, I must ask you to go. I have plenty of work to do. Good day. Before we go, could you answer a question for me? What? Do you know how the elements relate to the astrological signs? Uh. Are you serious? Deadly. Serious. It's very simple. Even someone with a bachelor's degree should be able to understand. 
Each astrological sign is ruled by one of the four elements. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius are the fire signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces are water. Air rules over Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And now let's see, the power of your trivium education. What signs can you infer are ruled by Earth? Oh no, 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 no. Oh right. <laughs> I, I was going to say, is it going to make me remember? Absolutely not. Taurus, Virgo, and the Capricorn. We're not going to call him an asshole, we just asked him for help. Good, now leave and never return. You're in the lesson, Master Valor. Well, I mean, he told us what we wanted to know, so like... I'm not too mad about it. Now we can go translate that document. We've already been in that house, we've already pet that, petted that cat. I think we've been everywhere. I might be wrong. We've been to all of these places. We've been to all of these places. We've been to all of these places. We have now explored the entire map. Well, time to put down the game. We're obviously finished. This game was, of course, just an um, um, exercise in, you know, exploring the map, right? There was, There's nothing else involved. It's just a nice thing where you can go look around the abbey, learn some history. Absolutely no evil plots in the background whatsoever. Um, we are, of course, also going to read our um, encyclopedia at some point. But yeah, so obviously there couldn't be anything untoward happening here. That would be crazy. Definitely no plots with secret ciphers. No, no, no. Right, uh, we'll take a trip through the cemetery, up to the old bailey, and into the house. Uh, but before we do, let's just quickly check this. Get some of these knocked off. Old Otto Zimmerman, carpenter and father of Otto. Suffered a stroke several years ago, so his son has taken over much of their business. Lives next to the town commons. Catherine Cat uh, Byron, the wife of Franz Bauer, mother of Martin. Cat uh, suffers under her husband's oppressive presence, but is well liked by the other townsfolk. Leinhard Muller, town miller, uh, husband of Elsie and father of Paul. One of Tassing's wealthiest citizens, he is widely disliked for his heavy tolls and cruel nature. Paul. Paul Muller, the son of the late... Excuse me? Son of the late Lenhard and Elsie, husband to Anna and father of Andreas and Ulrike, town miller and member of the town council. The late? Um... He was very much alive when I last saw him. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about your future, Lenhart. Anna Mullerin, daughter of Ulrich and Gret. Brigitte Bowerin, daughter of Agnes Steinauren, daughter of uh, Lucky Steinauren, wife of Martin Bauer, mother of Kraft. Her first son, Wolf, died to illness. She lives with her husband on, the fr on their farm. Close friends of Veronica Bauer. Okay. Elsie, wife of the late Lenhard Muller and mother of Paul. Elsie largely keeps to herself in the Muller home, but many peasants and townsfolk consider her to be one of the kindest people in town. This is a very worrying word if you happen to be Lenhard. France. France Bauer, the brother of Johannes Johann Bauer. France is married to Kat and is the father of Martin. France is known for his brusque, um, ab um, abusive nature uh, and intimidating presence. Oh, okay. Well, um, Smokey, Adam Smokey Kohler, um, charcoal burner for tassing in Kearsau. Smokey lives in the woods between the town and the abbey. Ursula Gert Niren, daughter of Peter and Clara, half-sister of Eva and Big Yorg. And then we have Vaxlav, family name unknown. A Romani traveler has been staying in the woods with Smokey for a few weeks. He helps Smokey with the charcoal burning and does odd jobs for the townsfolk. Then we have our glossary. Imperial Road, also called the Via Impera. Uh, the Imperial Road links Venice to the south with Stettin on the Baltic Sea in the north. It passes through Verona, Innsbruck, Nuremberg, and many other cities along the way. It also brings thousands of travellers to Tassing and Curacao every year. 
Okay. Is that it? Anything else in here? Aha. Uh -huh. Bavaria. Powerful duchy in, south, uh, eastern in the southeastern Holy Roman Empire. It is east of Swavia and north of Tyrol. Tassing and Kyrsal sit in the extreme south of the duchy, near the border of Tyrol. Okay. And with that, we have done our reading, and it is time for us to decipher a cipher. Let's go. Now that I know the connection between the astrological symbols on the cipher and the elemental symbols on the Vovelli, Ferenic's note should be easy to decipher. Oh, do I just press it? Oh, I see. It just points me to what these are. So... I'm trying to figure out how I was meant to decipher it in the first place. So if it's one of these, it means it's down. I'm guessing. So it's in like in this section. And then the symbol is... Yeah, so wait. That symbol must be up here. Yeah, so that symbol's up here. And then that symbol is there. And that lets you figure out how, where things are. Is that right? Can I delete this? I think it's wrong. I think I understand what I need to do now. Yes, so it doesn't fill it in for you. No, I already know who he is. So what I do is you take the first symbol, you click on the button. That rotates it. Then you look at that and you're like, ah, so that lines up to the first letter. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. I was thinking it was far too easy. Then we click on that. and give then gives us the next letter. Okay, then the next one is Aries. So we go for a little... It's this one. Go for this one. Then we're looking for down. Which would make this that one. For this one. And uh, we'll do that. Then we're looking for wavy lines. Okay. And we're looking for that symbol. I think I messed up somewhere, but let's not worry. Let's keep going. Then we're looking for that one, which we're already on. Our Ingerhard? Is that the word that we're looking for here? M, blue. I don't think so. Yeah, I think, I think I got one of them wrong. I think it was this. Uh, oh, I was one of them. You know what? Let's, let's just start over. Uh, so, uh, this one, that is that one. So, I think this one was right. It was it? No. Th th this one was quite clearly wrong. Okay, how did I get it so wrong? <laughs> this one is that. Gerhard, uh, Gerhard, yeah, that's what that says. As in the late brother Gerhard, Gerhard, yes, yes, it can't be a coincidence. Yes, that's that, that's what I completely put in there. I didn't mess up the puzzle. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh no, there we go. Oh, hi, Gerhard. Oh, yes, that is what it says. <laughs> He's much smarter than I am. Brother Gerhard died sometime last year. How does this connect to him? Ah. Hick Iseat Gerhard. Here lies Gerhard. I, I I would have used Gerhardus personally, but... What's the significance? I suppose I should find where Gerhard is buried. The Abbey Cemetery seems like a good place to start. Ooh, okay, so we have deciphered the cipher. We can now head out to the cemetery. And then, in theory, we can potentially find where he's buried. I'm assuming it's going to be something I can click on, unless it's the big one. There we go. Huh. Forenic cipher pointed here, but I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. Maybe it's a meeting place? 
I don't know. Maybe it's something else in here? Hmm. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. What else could we do here? I don't know. Maybe we head back this way and we read some more of the book? Can we do that? No. Hmm. I get the feeling the puzzle might not be done, but I also get the feeling that the puzzle might be over. Yeah, so there's nothing else there. So we've deciphered the puzzle, we've come out with an answer, but we don't know how it connects. Maybe if we check back here at night, maybe, or something, maybe it's a meeting location? Hmm. Okay, there's nothing else here, is there? Yeah, there's a tree that has nothing on it. Let's go meet up with our friends. I think we're done here. Cool. So we'll move through this way. Um, is there anything going in, on in the courtyard? Where is everybody? I know they went for prayers or something, but I don't know where they have actually gone. Maybe they went for their meal? Should make them in... That would put them... In the chapter house, maybe? Maybe? I think that was it, right? Yeah. I think it was maybe the next one. No, that wasn't it. I'm trying to figure out where they were eating. Mm. Maybe it was the ki Oh, it must be in the uh, refectory. No, it was there. Yeah, it was the next one along. In here? Aha! Uh -huh. Hello, everybody. Hello. God give you health. God bless you. God bless you, Andreas. How are you feeling today, Brother Adok? Oh, Mill. Oh, Mill. That's easy. I am well. Well done, my son. It is early. I will give you a harder one later. Oh, is he giving us anagrams? Oh, cool. I look forward to all of your anagrams, Brother Adok. Literal nut. Not sure. Ah, yes, until then. Ah, there we go. Gurnot, Andreas, God bless you. Good day. Good day. Good day, everybody. Good day. Good day. Good day. Hi, Guy. Good day, Andreas. How is your morning going, Brother Guy? It's fine. More contracts for the abbot. Which would you rather be making, contracts or manuscripts? I honestly don't care, Andreas. As long as the abbot is impressed, he could have he could have me write the first chapter of Genesis until Judgment Day. Does the abbot's opinion mean that much to you? The abbot's and the prior is both. You're lucky. When you're done with this, you're going home. I'm never going to see Burgundy again. I need to make the best of the next 40 years. I'll leave you to it. Well, that's a depressing thought, right? No matter what you do, it is gonna be here for the next 40 years. You might as well get the best of it. It's, you know, interesting. Right, time to leave. And we're off to lunch. At last. It's been a long time coming. Down here, along, and... Hello. Good day, Master Maller. Ah, Andreas, good to see you. I trust Clara gave you my message. Afternoon, Endress. Otto, Clara did give me your message. Sorry I missed you this morning. I was still asleep when you came by. Ah, the abbot really lets you get away with anything, doesn't he? Leave him be, Otto. I'm hungry. Let's pray. Bless us, O Lord, and these, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Um, how did the morning treat you? Not too bad, thanks. I hurt my damned hands, splitting timber to replace a bad beam in the abbot's house. It's not that bad of an injury, it just galls me that the abbot bleeds us dry and we're expected to work here when it suits him. Select a food item to eat? 
Well, we said we were gonna eat the rye bread, so we'll eat the, the rye bread. Oh, it's not all that bad. I get a lot of good work from the Abbey. Casting pilgrim's badges isn't really smithing, but I don't mind. Cheese. End of the cheese. Anyway, I saw you walking with that uh, Baron Rothfogel in the meadow on your way up here. What's that, what's that all about? Um, He's here to check on a commission. I understand he was friendly with Father Matthias. Let's not, you know, um, let's not try and paint him in a bad light. He was, uh, though Father Matthias had some misgivings about the Baron. What kind of misgivings? That he fools around with young women. He's married, of course. I wonder if that explains why Otilia doesn't, li doesn't like him. Does Otilia have a daughter? Hmm. Otto, that's only gossip, and it isn't Christian to spread rumours like that. It's not gossip when he beat up that farmer a few years back. Old Radnick may rest in peace. He beat up Old Radnick, who I'm guessing is Otilia's wife? Husband? Well, I wasn't there, so I don't know, but if he did that, yes, it speaks poorly of his character. Hmm. Um, we had a long conversation on our way up here, but he didn't mention anything about that. What did you talk about then? I mean, no offense, but what does a nobleman have in common with an artist? Um. Martin Luther, my time at university, a variety of other things. He's quite well educated. Sure, I imagine you have a lot to, uh, of time to read when you don't have to worry where your next meal is going to come from. This bitterness and e this bitterness and envy are not good for a Christian souls, Otto. It's not envy, Endress. No one should get away with what he does. Well, this Abbey does. No offence to you, Andreas. I don't have any problem with the books the Abbey makes. I mean, I never did learn to read, but if people are paying the Abbey to make them. It doesn't bother me. Hmm. No, I understand. I see why people resent the Abbot's rule. He's a harsh lord. Ah. Uh, oh, ah. Uh, Otto, did you see that the Bower's sheep escaped from the grazing fields again? No, but I'm not surprised. Martin was supposed to fix that fence, and he probably did a bad job at it. He's always in a foul mood, and he could be the laziest soul in Tassing. He can't even hold a hammer properly. Married and a father at such a young age, and he barely lifts a finger for his wife or child. On top of that, he's a damned thief, and before you say it, Endress, there's more, that's more than just gossip. Look at him, over by the guest house. He's probably figuring out what he can steal for the least amount of effort. Um... You know what? Let's let's not try and uh, I might go with this one, but let's let's try and you know calm down Otto. Otto seems like he's on a bit of a rampage, going through people and uh, pointing out their flaws. Let's just say, ah, he's just a boy. He has time to change. I've never known a thief to change, but maybe his responsibilities will make a man out of him. Speaking of the Bower's sheep, their ewes are shorn, and the woman will be spinning it soon. Otto, I got it, Endress. No need to tease. What? God wants to happen will happen. Looks like a storm's coming. We should probably get back to it. Right, I'll catch up in a moment, Endress. Oh, are you gonna invite me to the revolution? Oh, Andreas, uh, say hello to Eva for me if you get a chance. Eva, huh? Well chosen, Otto. Andreas, don't. Just tell her hello for me and keep out of it. Of course. I should return to work in the scriptorium. Until later. It's now back to work time. Well, I mean, rain time. And with that, it has come to the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Next time we're going to go check out that cemetery, and then I guess we're going back to work. And we'll find out just how Lenhart becomes the late Lenhart. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.